Okay, in the last guide, we had a look at how to put text boxes into Publisher, uh, how to add writing to them and change the style, how to put borders on them, change the background color to a gradient or solid color and add an image. So we're gonna look at how we can add pictures overall in Publisher. There's basically three ways of doing this. The easiest way, I think, is to go onto the internet and just copy and paste. So if I go to Google, let's search for dinosaurs. Before I go to images, and uh, we'll get a picture of a dinosaur like this one. Usually a really good trick on Google, well, that one's a bit flashing, I don't really want a flashing one. Let's go for this one. Is when you're on the image to click view image so you can see the whole image this one's blocked that's a good start and you will you will have frustrations like this where things are blocked so click view image right i've got it now and then you can see a bigger version of it in a full scale version so i'm going to right click and copy that image i'm going to right click and i'm going to paste it on okay when we've got the image we've got these little boxes like you may have seen in word we can click and drag them to make the image smaller or to make the image bigger so that's one way a second way is if we go to insert we can go to picture which will go to our files so in the other one i got this picture of a dinosaur up which i've saved to my file to save a picture to your file you need to go onto the picture and right click save image as and then it will come up with a folder for you to save it into usually click on your pictures on the left hand side and save it into there. Okay, but I, so I'm going to insert this dinosaur. Click to I'm going to click insert, and that will come up straight in the middle. Again, it's quite big, so I'm going to use these boxes to drag it smaller. The final way is by clicking on insert and going to clip art, and that will give you on this left hand side kind of a little search. And you may need to make sure that is ticked on include bin content. So let's look for dino. Right, dinosaurs, click go, that should search, it takes a little while on finding me a dinosaur, that's quite a cute one. So if I click the arrow, if I hover over it, I get a little bar at the side, if I click that, I can go insert, and there in comes my image. Because I was selected on the other image, it's copied over that other image that I had. So if I go backwards, I select off that image, I click there and go insert, it will put it in separately and again I can drag it down. Now what you'll notice with these images is that some of them are above other things and I might want them in a different order. So if I want them in a different order I can arrange them either above or below each other. So to do that we right click and at the top you've got these two buttons. This one says bring forward, this one says send back and if you click them you can see that's gone behind that one. So I can but it's still above these ones. If I wanted to change it, I could right click, click on here and keep pressing it to send it back. Likewise, if I wanted this one above that one, I can right click and use the other button that says bring forward and it will bring it in front. So I can decide exactly what order I want my images in. Okay, but what you should be able to see with Publisher now is that I've got these separate items, these images and the writing, and I can drag them around. One thing you'll also notice about the image is if I drag it over the text box, the writing moves around where the image is. Okay, we'll talk about that later why that happens, but just be aware that that happens. Okay, now we've got an image, there's a couple of things we can do with that image. If we zoom in, let's take this image here, we can go onto picture tools, onto format, and we've got these kind of options here. So we can put a shadow on it. If we want to that will do a shadow for the whole picture as you can see it won't do it just for the dinosaur it'll do it for the whole square uh, we can change the border by clicking on here and choosing a nice border that we might want we can also recolor it so we can use a different color mode we can make it brighter or darker and we can make the contrast which is the difference between the colors change as well Okay, one of the other things that is really <coughs> pardon me, useless, useful, sorry, not useless, it's not useless, it's useful, is this option here called crop. Now if I click crop, I get these black 
kind of lines around it. Now, if I drag them in, the section behind goes grey. So if I crop it down, keep pulling them in, I can get it down to just his head. Now, if I select off of that, I have now cropped it, so it's just his head there. There's nothing else there. Okay? And therefore, I have now made that image smaller, and I've just got a bit of the image that I want. Okay? Right, the final thing I said we'd mention was why this happens. Okay, why it jumps about. Now, the reason for that is something called text wrapping. So if I click on my image and I go to this one that says wrap text under format under picture tools, we've got all these options. If I make none, when I highlight over that, nothing happens. If I change that to square, it will jump in between, it will jump around it. If I say top and bottom, okay, when it wraps around it, it will push it underneath or above. Okay, and if I put through, it will just again wrap it around through. Okay, so I'm going to put mine on none. So that is basically how you change the thing so the text wrapping doesn't change when you put your picture over it. So the next bit of Publisher is obviously playing around with images. So remember, there are three ways of inserting an image. <clears throat> Picture from your area, clip art, copying it from the internet. <clears throat> Pardon me. Then you can go to your format tools. You can change the brightness, the contrast, the color, what the border is going to look like. Okay, you've also got this option to change the color of the borders. Okay, and this option to change the shape of the picture if you want it a different style. Um, and then you can crop it down just to the sections that you want. So that is the next bit. Have a go at that. Have a go at putting images in and playing around with the different styles on images.